the, regarding the LA Kings, there, yep. you know, where do you see where their future is going? Well, the future is the prospects. The future is the young kids. And um, the the real difficult thing would be for the people to stay patient with what's going to happen. Now, the, the first step was this year, right, where you bring in a new coach, you bring in a new system, and it's kind of easy to hit the bar of what your expectations are. Soli, you know, you guys are Stanley Cup champions. Uh, eventually, the expectations go much higher. And that's really where the challenge will be. But I like the nine picks last year, the 24 picks in the next three years. Um, you build a volume of prospects, and then they turn them over to you guys in, yeah. in player development, and you try to get these kids ready to play in the National Hockey League. You're, you're not going to hit with, with all of your draft picks, right? It, it's just not going to happen. But when you look at this board here, if you can hit with a decent percentage of your picks, mm -hmm. you're going to be in really good shape. Yeah. Especially though that second round. Well, obviously, most of the NHL today is first and second round picks. That's just the yeah. way it is. But having that many picks in the second and third round, that's where you'll really, you can't miss those. No, and, and every but everybody focuses on that first round. They're going to be yeah. like, you know, la last year when you when you draft Turcotte at, at number five, everybody looks at him, but Fogamo is, yep. is a heck of a oh, player. Yeah, yeah. But he's a second round pick, and people kind of forget about that, yeah. except those are the guys that really are the franchise makers. Yeah. You're going to hit on most of your high first round picks. It's the ones that come after, the seconds and the thirds, that, that really are where you build the team. Un